Okay. This video is about the three bodies and five koshas um, from the Hindu religion. The five koshas um, have been dated back, found, like from the source, the first sources that they've, um, like, able to give to us came from the Tate Tyre area. It's Tate Tyre Upanishad. It's a Hindu text from the ancient times. <laughs> Gonna start with the three bodies. Um, the three bodies is the um, physical body, the astral or subtle body, and the spiritual or causal body. So those are the three, and the physical body is consistent of physical matter or anatomy matter. It's made up of five elements. Air, earth, water, fire, and akasha or ether, which is like space above our um, sunlit blue sky. And the physical body is a time body, so from the time we're born to the before we go into the afterlife, that is the time that our body um, has been composed of. And the astral body lies under, the, is the second body, it lies under the surface of the physical body. This layer is invisible to the human eye and it holds the source of the human or the self's thoughts, emotional feelings, and doable motion fortifiable actions. So thoughts, feelings, and actions in the astral or subtle layer. It consists of 19 elements which is made up of five organs and um, those organs are like karmic action. So they're the important actions that make us um, give and reap. <clears throat> And that we could um, deal from our past, what we have left of our past life from karma and from the karma that we cultivate, we go into our, the next life and reincarnated into a new physical body, an astral body, and we have to always eliminate our karmic mis misbehaviors or karmic debts to become lighter and lighter and um, with humility but um, so there's five karmic action organs there's five senses of knowledge which are five sense, senses of knowledge is part of the elements of the astral layer. And there's five elements of antakarana, the inner instruments, and there's five pranas. The five senses of knowledge is to feel, taste, smell, hear, and see. The elements of self inner instruments is the mind, intellect, subconscious, and ego. The five pranas, also panchvayu panch of the self, is um, the yudana prana, and that is the life force, vital life force above the heart, like breathing in the three bodies of the heart and the prana prana is in the heart so where the heart um, lies inside the um, astral body 
or physical body. And the Samana, Samana Prana is in the solar plexus, which is about right here, um, below the rib cage. And it's prana for the digestion and metabolism. And Apana Prana is the def detoxificant prana of the body. And Vayana Prana is the circulation of blood and bodily fluids and movement of the self or the body. It's three fingers below the belly. Um, also like the legs area, region of the self. And the third body is the innermost, is called the spiritual or causal body, and it's the innermost seed body from like Hindu, in Hindu. And in the search, for, okay, this is the layer that you can, this is the layer where like you're in a state of like for the search of I am. And this is the state where there is nothing to hold on to. There's nothing to hold on to except for receiving um, enlightenment towards the self, which takes practice living out life and time. And this body continues through all the self's lives. So it continues through like karmic reincarnation and um, the ultimate goal is enlightenment or self-realization with practice. The four elements of the spiritual body is soul, karma, free will, and samskara. Samskara in Sanskrit is translated to formation or manifestation, manifesting or cultivation or cultivating, which is like shaping up and polishing one's life. So perfecting and polishing, shaping up one's life. And so the five koshas are, kosha means like sheath or also like a layer um, that encases the self. So the koshas can move us towards states, a state of higher awareness, greater awareness, and self-realization to our real, true, and inner most beings that um, were given to us. And the first kosha is Anamaya kosha. It means the food sheath. It's our atomic matter and our survival on a daily basis, survival needs on a daily basis. And the second sheath is Pranamaya Kosha, it's the vital sheath, it's the energetic life force, like prana life force flow through the body. The third sheath is Manamaya Kosha, it's the mental sheath. It's our cognitive functions that process our experiences and emotions, like with memory and perception and imagination for our experiences and emotions. The fourth sheet is Vajnana Maya Kosha. It's the intellectual sheath of knowledge with no that entails knowledge and wisdom. And the fifth sheet is Enema, Enan Amaya Kosha, which is the blissful sheath of joy, of the feelings, of the feelings of joy, love, happiness, and is responsible for spiritual contentment and liberation into our higher self. And according to the Taitiriya Panishad, the goal of living is to transcend the koshas, the five koshas, and realize the true nature of the self and journey further 
into the self. So those are the five koshas and three bodies.